Hello YouTube, this is a really old lens off a movie projector. Years ago the neighbor was junking a bunch of stuff out of an old house with some really old junk and garbage. And the projector looked, had went through a fire and was all rusted and I unscrewed this and took it off it. I use it like a jeweler's loop. Sorry for the glare. Yeah. 1970 something Canadian quarter down there. We took a couple still shots so you can read where the where this was made. Victor Davenport, Iowa, made by Simpson Optical Manufacturing Company out of Chicago. Okay. Then over here there it says two inch. E dot F then F16. So it's all the writing that's on it. We'll turn it real here real slowly. So we took a couple pictures if you want to really study them. Had to kind of take one like this, then roll it over and take another one. But you'll be able to read all the writing if you look at it real close. But I use it for a jeweler's loop. I turn around this way and take your glasses off. And it works really well. It works better than your regular eyeball because you try to get real close to something like a coin look at scratches or something on our date. You're not going to see it as good as you can do with the jeweler's loop. You might make out the mint, but the camera doesn't even do it justice. I should turn it so it's not sideways. Winter time, this is what I do. Boring stuff like this. Evening time out or at the desk in the shop. Nothing else to do. Here, we're going to get it right up. Here, we'll just put it up on the lens. Slit it over the lens of the camera. Bear with me. Kind of get the idea. Just doing a little experimenting to see if I can use it on the camera because it does fit over it. If I can get my big fingers out of the way and all the shadows I'm making, but I did include a picture. I don't know if you've ever done it with the lens, but. You'll see in a picture that you'll see my light bulb of my lamp up there. Can I get it focused? You'll be able to even see the sticker inside of it. I did take a picture of that. Let's move the lamp back a little bit, just a little bit more. There we go. Okay, something like that. I know the white whatever in the camera keeps doing that, but you see that? You see that sticker in there inside the lamp? It's one of those reveal bulbs. It's kind of a purpley color. Don't know if you've ever done that with a magnifying lens. And of course, the picture's upside down. There you go. Too long a video. We'll give you some more pictures of this thing. I use it for a jeweler's loop. It was worth grabbing and bringing it home, sticking it in my pocket. I just have to find it because I've been cleaning out my desk, looking through boxes of old stuff that I have. So, there you go. Here, we'll move this out of the way. We'll take a couple photos of it. Thanks for watching.